So today we will talk about a very important, uh, important concept defining concentration of solutions and buffer that is molarity, moles and molarity. So before that we need to understand about molecular weight. Molecular weight of a compound is actually cumulative weight, combined weight of all the atoms involved in that compound. For example, if we talk about NaCl, NaCl is made up of two atoms, Na sodium and Cl. So if you add uh, atomic weight of sodium and Cl, that will be molecular weight of NaCl. Similarly, if you talk about glucose, which is C6H12O6, its molecular weight would be a uh, co combination of uh, 6 carbon atom, 12 H atom and 6 oxygen atom weight, which is equal to 180 Dalton. You represent this in term of Dalton. So, no moles. One mole of any substance can be defined in term of weight or in term of number of molecules. For example, in case of NaCl, one mole of NaCl is equal to, if you want to measure in gram, it will be molecular weight in gram, means 58 grams. It means if you want to, if you want to measure one mole of NaCl, you need to take 58 grams of sodium chloride and uh, so that will be equal to one mole. Uh, similarly, if you want to calculate number of molecules of NaCl present in 58 gram, that will be equal to one Avogadro's number. This is by definition. So six, which is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules. It means if you take one mole of NaCl, which is equal to 58 grams of NaCl, and that is also equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 number of NaCl molecules. This is also uh, known as Avogadro's number. So, which is constant for, uh, for one mole of any substance. For example, if you take uh, glucose, glucose is having 180 Dalton molecule weight. And if you are preparing one mole of glucose, you have to take 180 gram of glucose, but the total number of glucose molecule in 180 gram would remain same, like one Avogadro's number. It means uh, one mole of any substance will have one Avogadro number of molecules. So if you take uh, either of sodium chloride or glucose, there's a, a large difference in the molecular weight of sodium chloride and glucose, but if you are preparing one mole, if you are calculating one mole in gram, you will take 58 gram for NaCl and you will take 180 gram for glucose. But the total number of molecules in case of NaCl and glucose would remain same, which is the Avogadro's number. Okay, so we know that uh, one mole of a substance is equal to uh, one molecular weight of that substance in gram or one Avogadro number in terms of number of molecules. So then we can define molarity like the molarity of a substance is equal to number of moles. You have number of moles dissolved in one liter or 1000 ml of the solvent. So number of moles can be calculated from the definition of mole. For example, if you want to pre prepare one molar NaCl. So to prepare one molar NaCl, what you will do, you will take one molecular weight in gram means 58 gram of that substance, 58 gram of NaCl. You will take 58 grams, you will weigh 58 gram, and then you will dissolve it in 1000 ml. So that way it will become one molar NaCl solution. Similarly, if you want to prepare one molar glucose, for one molar glucose, you will take uh, 180 gram of glucose and dissolve that into one liter. So 180, 180 gram, which is molecular weight of glucose, you will dissolve that in one liter or 1000 ml. So th this will be called a one molar solution of the glucose. If you calculate number of molecules, it will remain same in both the cases, which is equal to one Avogadro number. So it means in 58 gram per liter NaCl, you will have uh, 6.02 into 10 into 23 number of molecules and same number of molecule of glucose will present when you make one molar solution. 
Or similarly, any substance, if you make same concentration, same molarity, it will have same number of molecules present in that solution.